Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you two easy ways to check and see if you have the right amount of Freon or refrigerant in your vehicle's air conditioning system. And on top of that, we're gonna do it with no fancy equipment, no gauges, no mechanics tools. Let's take a look. First things first, let's identify what kind of refrigerant this vehicle uses. It says right here, R134A. For all the testing we're gonna to do today, you're gonna to wanna to have your vehicle warmed up with the engine on. You might consider driving it around the block for 10 minutes. So step one is crank it all the way to the coldest you can get it. Turn it on max so the air conditioner is actually turned on. Next, the air coming out of the vents should be about 20 to 25 degrees colder than the air getting sucked in or the ambient air. So let's put a thermometer in here and let's see what's coming out. So the air coming out of my vents is about 58, 59 degrees, somewhere in there. And today it's about 90 degrees out right now. I've got the door open on my vehicle. What that tells me right off the bat is, yes, this air conditioning system is working just fine. That is pretty darn cold air, especially considering that it's a hot day today. Let me show you a second way you can check to see if the Freon is at the right level in your vehicle. So we're gonna keep the engine on and we need to be careful under here because we do have a fan spinning right here. So be careful. Engine is on, let's identify some of the parts of the air conditioning system. This thinner line right here is called the high side. Higher pressure, it should be hot right now. And just feeling it even through my gloves, it is hot. And then the second line, if we look like this one right down here, this is thicker, this is called the suction line. If the system is working correctly, this should be very cold and even have a little bit of condensate or water building up on this pipeline. And the opposite is true of the high side. This should be hot. Feel this one down here. Even with these thin gloves on, I can tell that it is cold and there's a little bit of condensate or water building up on there. So let's use our meat thermometer and we can see that the suction side, 55, 54 degrees, 53 degrees. Yeah, 52 degrees, we're definitely, we're definitely getting that icy cold. So 52 degrees on our suction side. And our high side over here is 135, 136, 137 degrees. So that one is definitely hot. And again, that one should be hot. The other one should be icy cold, which it is. Those two combined with the fact that we've got air coming out our vents in the 50s, that shows me that this system, again, I'm gonna use the word Freon. I know that's uh, what a lot of you like to use. Really, it's refrigerant. I would say this vehicle has the right amount of Freon or the right amount of refrigerant in it. Hey friends, I hope today's video helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.